RTX has probably been one of the most talked about things in the past year, whether it's been negative or positive, let's just face it, RTX is here and it's here to stay. Let's talk about it. Okay, so like it or love it, RTX is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. It's been adopted now by the whole market, which we're gonna talk about today, and I'm gonna tell you why and what's going on with RTX and how it really is not going away at all. But please bear with me just real quick while we hear a word from today's sponsor. Thanks. Everyone likes a deal. There's just no denying it. And right now, AliExpress has lots of slash deals for you to save money on. You can also buy things very easily, and you can do so either on your computer or via their online app available for both Android and iOS devices. To buy from your computer, simply create an account and then the link will be sent to you automatically by email so you can start buying on the site. And if you are a mobile buyer, simply install the app on your device and follow the same steps to start saving money. Right now, you can save 99% on 60 select items. And by sharing with your friends, you can save even more money. And guess what? So can they. The more you share, the more everyone saves. To get your 99 items, simply share with a friend and earn coupons for even more savings. So if you want to save a bundle, check out AliExpress and get your 99 items while they last. As these slash deals, they won't last forever. Make sure to share with your friends for even more savings on AliExpress. Okay, so check this out. Many people talked crap about RTX from the very beginning, you know, and I've always told everybody, all of you guys from the very beginning that RTX is really something amazing. Um, NVIDIA took a big risk with coming out and doing that and not making everything about being faster frames per second. They rolled the dice and so many people said, oh, you know, RTX is hype. It's just bullshit. Nobody's going to use it. There's no really games being going on with it. Yada, 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 on and on and on and on and on. But then you have all these other people who are saying, oh, you know, well, the next RDNA 2 cards are going to have RTX. So flip flop, snub the nub, you know? Um, and check it out. <laughs> Intel has really completely said they're going to be releasing a mid-level card and it will support, guess what? Hardware RTX, which means ray tracing on everybody's cards. Ray tracing on Nvidia, ray tracing on AMD, and ray tracing on Intel. One thing that's cool, but it's a little bit different off subject just real quick is that Intel's also gonna be releasing a video card for the server market called SG-1, and, and I was laughing, I go, all right, Stargate, you know, SG-1, but no, it's not that. Unfortunately, Intel watched this video and changed the frickin' name. But anyways, back to ray tracing. So, like I've been telling you guys all along, ray tracing has been around since the 16th century. It is not something new whatsoever. It's been around a long time, and inside of games, for years and years and years, they've you know had to do things to make objects and everything in your game try to look as real as possible. You know, usually you get a wireframe and the wireframe's designed you know around something, and all of these things are really kind of what ray tracing is about. Ray tracing is basically tracing the object that you have and making it more like a real object so that you can add things like reflection, shadow, shiny stuff, and obviously. Obviously, when it's first rolled out, it's going to be experimental and it's going to be new. I mean, let's just face it. I mean, anything when it first come to market and it's new technology, it's usually not bing, bang, boom out of the gate. Trust me on this. USB, I had a computer, in fact, many computers, which probably a lot of people who are my age did that had USB ports on them. There were no USB devices to plug in to those USB plugs on your computer. They came out years later. So. I mean, the very fact that RTX and ray tracing is now going to be adopted into everything will change the market. And for people out there who are saying, oh, you know, well, um, you know, there's not very many games that support that, so I'll snob my nose, well, check it out. I mean, if ray tracing is in everything, 
and it's in consoles and it's in everybody's video card. Come on. That means every game maker on the planet's going to adopt it because guess what? Uh, it's everywhere. So if it's everywhere, that means that everybody's gonna start making their games using ray tracing. And as that happens, you know, it's like experimenting, you know, just like trial testing. And as they develop it and get better and better and better, you're going to see ray tracing just become a normal thing. Like somebody told me the other day that they miss Phys X. It's like, what do you mean miss Phys X? It's there. It's just not talked about anymore. It's just part of what's going on. Everybody pretty much has it. So there you go. I mean, it's gonna be the same thing with ray tracing. You know, probably a few years down the line, nobody's even gonna be talking about ray tracing because there's gonna be something else that came out that's going to be new and brilliant. And probably in this next generation of cards that are coming out from NVIDIA, we'll probably see ray tracing start to actually be something that can be played and not kill all your frame rates or anything else. And it will start to really see the light of day. Now. What's probably going to be happening will be, you know, everybody will have ray tracing out there. But the thing is, ray tracing will probably be at certain levels now. So you'll probably have NVIDIA's RTX will probably be at the top of the heap. They'll be way up here because they invented the technology. Well, they didn't really invent it, but they have lots of patents for the stuff that they're inventing and doing nowadays. Reinventing. You guys know what I mean. They've come up with this concept now and have introduced it to the market. But like I said, it's been around since the 16th century. So you can't say that, you know, NVIDIA invented ray tracing. But NVIDIA has brought ray tracing, though, to the gaming world. That is a fact. It's undisputed. And all the naysayers out there pretty much got a suck a bar of soap because now you're going to see ray tracing everywhere. So for the people who said, oh, it's no big deal, it's just a fad, yada, yada, it's gonna pass. No, absolutely not. Everybody out there would not be adopting this stuff into their tech if it was going anywhere. It is the future, just like I said. I mean, you can like it, you can hate it. You know, you can say, oh, you know, well, uh, Nvidia charged a shite ton of money for their cards. They did, they did. I mean, I admit it. If I wasn't in, in the market I'm in and what I do for a living, I probably couldn't have been go, going out and buying these cards. They're, they were expensive, you know. But for people who are elite gamists and people who all they do is game and games their thing, they're going to pay those prices for those cards. And, you know, that's just the way it is. I mean, if I had the money, I would have definitely bought a 2080 Ti, even though the ray tracing wasn't, you know, working absolutely the totally best on it, it cut frame rate and stuff like that. It doesn't matter. It's still, it's freaking new. It's cool. It's technology. I mean, I think what the problem is that a lot of people out there aren't like me and other tech reviewers. We like tech. I mean, let's just face it. Even if the tech's a little bit fracked up, we're still like, yeah, it's tech. It's like Christmas every day to a person who really loves tech. And for me, a person who loves tech, having ray tracing on my video card, even when it cut frame rates and stuff, it still was interesting. Yeah, a lot of shiny objects. I will give you that. A lot of shiny, okay, but still, in real life, there are a lot of reflections, shadows, and that type of stuff. And like I said, the technology was new, but the technology is not going to be new in a few years. And as every game developer out there starts sticking their hands in the pile and coding with this, you're gonna have people go, oh my God, dude, did you check this out? Oh, dude, did you know what for all? And people are gonna you know, discover stuff about it and push the envelope even farther. And that's when it's going to be really cool. It's going to be so cool when you'll be able to go play a game that's ray traced and it looks totally realistic with shadows and everything else and your frame rates are kicking butt and you've got this awesome looking game that plays awesome and it looks so real. I mean, think about this. Ray tracing will be a big deal also in the virtual reality market. Come on, face it. What tech needs more realistic looking stuff than anything? It's VR. VR games, when I go play them like now, I'm like, what is this? Kitty's toy? You guys know what I mean. VR right now is kind of like, eh. I stopped doing it. It kind of made me sick sometimes. GSDO Cameron, he could play that stuff all day long. And Mark Poppin, this other guy I know, oh my God. He can play video games all day long wearing that stuff too. But me, myself, the way it is right now, nah, sometimes it makes me sick. But there you guys have it, man. Like it, lump it. Ray tracing is here. It's the future. It's been sucked up by every company out there. Every platform is going to have it. 
So you guys know that more and more games are going to be getting pumped out all the time with ray tracing, and that's just going to make the market better and better and better and better as the future goes along. So peace out. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. The reason I didn't film videos for a week is I kind of hurt my hip and I just didn't feel good. So I just like, you know what, I'm just going to take a total break from everything and just totally chill out. And that's what I did. And it felt good. <laughs> Honestly, it did feel good. My hip's feeling better. I'm feeling better. So peace out. We'll see you guys back here. If you want to support the channel, hey, we've got everything. We've got Patreon. You can subscribe to Amazon for 30 days for free and check out all their cool shows. They've got a lot of stuff going on right now. And you can cancel it. And hey, we all benefit. So see you guys back here for more tech.